Today we're making a DIY target throwing station. Today's video isn't going to be the traditional type of summer camp video where the kids can do the craft, but instead the adults can make the craft and then kids can play with it in the yard. It's super simple and super cheap to make, so let's get started. You will need 9 pool noodles, duct tape, a cutting board and a knife, scissors, and two wooden stakes or dowels that you can stick into your yard. The first thing we're going to do is take six of our pool noodles and make them into rings, kind of like I did in my DIY Mother's Day wreath video. You want to take a piece of duct tape and cut it off with your scissors, or rip it, depending on your method, and then make your pool noodle into a ring and put the duct tape on the seat. You may need a buddy to help you hold the ring in place. Repeat with five more pool noodles until you have six rings. Leave the other three pool noodles flat, as we'll be getting to them later. Next, take one of your flat noodles and cut it in half with a steak knife. This is going to be attached to the other two pool noodles that are still flat, making them taller and sturdier for our rings later. Next, grab your pool noodles and lay them out in whatever formation you would like to. I find three on top of three is the sturdiest way to do this. I also like to have them so the colors alternate in each row. Next, take your duct tape and start duct taping them together. I like to duct tape over the seams from earlier, which makes it sturdier and more stable for later, but you can do this however you want. Make sure to use lots of duct tape and also be careful when duct taping, as you can rip the pool noodle slightly. Next, we're going to start attaching the long pool noodles to the rows. You want the shorter pool noodle to be by the bottom of the ground as the stake will then go through the short one and to the tall one. Also, when duct taping this part, make sure you use a lot of duct tape as it's pretty much holding the entire thing together. Then, duct tape on the shorter piece onto the bottom. Repeat on the other side, making sure the tall noodles line up at the top so it's evenly standing. Then, duct tape on the small part again, and you're done! To get your contraption to stand in the yard, simply put two stakes into the ground where the long pool noodles will stand, and slide the pool noodles down over the stakes so the middle of the pool noodle has the stake inside of it. Make sure the stakes are also long enough to bypass the first piece of duct tape. That way, it stands up straighter. Mine were a little short, but if you have long ones, you should be totally fine. And that's it. Just grab a ball, and it's time to play. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you would like notifications in your inbox, make sure to subscribe. I would like to say thank you to 163 of my subscribers. I right now am having the 100 subscriber giveaway, so go make sure to check it out if you haven't already. Also, if your kids enjoy this craft, please make sure to tell me in the comments what you did to customize it and if you threw a ball, pool noodles, and how you had fun with it. Thanks again, and see you guys next week. Bye!